Okay, this is October 22nd, 2017, and after several failed attempts to do another video due to people knocking at the door and other things, including cats with hairballs, no names mentioned, Delaney. Uh, beautiful sunny day in East Wenatchee uh, after a heavy rainfall yesterday, so this is nice. So, anyway. I had a brief introduction yesterday on Facebook. I will restart this because it was botched, but anyhow. So this is uh, the, quote, new piano. <clears throat> Again, it's a Mason & Hamlin uh, model CC. Uh, it is nine feet, four inches long and weighs over 1,500 pounds. All the more so now that it has a player piano mechanism installed. Before that, it would have been the heaviest piano in the world, and now it definitely is. Um, the only thing longer than this is the Bosendorfer Imperial Grand, which is nine foot six, I think, another two inches longer, um, but nothing weighs as much. They are comparable, the uh, Bosendorfer Imperial, the Mason Hamlin Model CC, which is this, and the Steinway Model D are all the flagship models of each of the respective companies. Um, the Concert Grand is the one that you see on uh, concert stages and usually is what's used to make recordings, pop music and classical, because of the power it has and the clarity across all of the range of the notes. Shorter pianos have got kind of thuddy bass because the copper wound bass strings are too short. This is not too short, as you'll see in a minute. Um, also, because it's so long, the soundboard which is that pale wood you see below the strings right here, and it's about that thick, uh, is large. So uh, because of the size of the uh, square area of the soundboard, it makes it louder. So this piano was actually designed to be used in a concert hall or a theater, maybe a recording studio, not usually someone's living room, but that's okay. Um, what else can I tell you? Mason and Hamlin and Steinway and Baldwin and all of the major players like Kanabi, uh, Chickering, all the really big American producers, uh, most of which are now out of business, had their own sound. Mason and Hamlin and Steinway are now the only two American piano companies still in business. At the time, turn of the century, there were over 300 different manufacturers in the United States and they've all gone bankrupt, except these two. Uh, the Mason Hamlin has a different sound than the Steinway. The Steinway has a very powerful um, percussive bell-like quality to it. Good sustain, lots of power, very clear, um, beautiful sound, probably the world's best. The Mason Hamlin is up there. Um, I wouldn't say it's the Steinway, but it's just different. So the, the Mason Hamlin is known for its big sound is what the people describe it as it has a very thick full rounded tone it just kind of envelops you when you're in the room it's got a very interesting tone to it very rich um very smooth right throughout the action um is very responsive as well so this piano was built in the 70s it was in a university in the east coast somewhere uh was destroyed um, from heavy use and rebuilt by another piano technician. The cabinet, the black parts, and the actual white keys are all original, as is the metal, and as is the cast iron harp, the frame here, the gold part. But the soundboard, the wood underneath, the bridges that you see along here that attach the strings are new. All the mechanical pieces, including the hammers, that come up from underneath are all new as well. All the mechanicals have been replaced, new strings, new bass strings. So basically, mechanically, it's a new piano. Um, yeah, so what else can I tell you? I'm gonna play a few things. It has, uh, I'm gonna do some recordings of my own playing in a little bit. I'm still trying to get used to it. It's got a very different feel. It's heavier action. You have to work harder at it, which is good. Um, it's easier to control a piano with a bit heavier action. Um, 
and this has got a lot of power but it can also play very softly as well I'll show you in a moment um, it has a player mechanism called the piano disc it's been around for about 20 years the latest versions are Wi-Fi enabled so the old versions you had to put a floppy disk or a CD into them plug it in and it would play like a record or a CD off of a CD player the new ones don't have that at all it's all done um, electronically through iPad or your iPhone or your computer through iTunes so I have an iPad set up here it has its own software um, it came with several hundred pieces performance pieces ranging from classical to pop um, so the music is stored on the iPad which broadcasts the signal to the piano wirelessly and then it plays the first one I'm going to play is just a piano piece it's actually was a recording it's a Chopin piece the uh, E225 and uh, Opus 25 number 12 Chopin um, it's performed here get this by Horowitz. So before Horowitz died, he actually performed this piece on a piano equipped with the same electronic technology, made an electronic recording of him playing. I'm going to play it in a little bit, and this is Horowitz playing in my living room, even though he's dead, which is kind of creepy. This is exactly the way he would have played it years ago. It also has the ability to record me playing, and I can save those recordings and play it back on this piano. I can upload the recordings to YouTube and anyone with the same piano technology can play my performance, me playing on their piano anywhere in the world. And I also stream it live. So I can play on this piano as it's recording and transmit that live over the internet to whoever wants to listen to me play. And it will play me, whatever I'm playing, on a piano anywhere else in the world at the same time. And the uh, concert grands at Carnegie Hall in New York, for example, are set up with this recording technology too. So if Adam Georgie was playing at Carnegie Hall and it was being broadcasted, I could turn my piano on here and he would be performing from New York but playing my piano here in East Wenatchee at the same time. And you can actually uh, stream uh, orchestra or orchestra music from the major concert halls around the world and the piano place will play on my piano while you're watching your performance on TV live. How's that for creepy? Um, it also do pop music, not just play the pop music, it can accompany pop music. So for example, let's say you wanted to listen to ABBA Dancing Queen. It's got a great piano piece in there. The piano has speakers built in underneath. The vocals will play from the speakers under the piano, while the piano plays the piano piece live. So I'm gonna show you all those in a moment. We start off with the uh, Horowitz playing Chopin. It's already cued, I just push play, and then you sit back.
and that's it for that. Stay tuned for video two.